You're not van lifing until you have apocalypse socks. Everyone needs a pair of apocalypse socks. Had a bad day? It's not the end of the world. Get yourself some apocalypse socks. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I enjoy breakfast with a view and drive up through Yellowstone National Park to meet up with my dad for Father's Day. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning, friends. It's too bright in here. I can't open my eyes yet. What is up with toothpaste? Why does it give you like that goopy film? I just need to know this. It's 7 a.m. and I need to know. Do you guys ever get that? It's a weird thing. Let's see where we're at this morning. Yellowstone National Park Campground. Site number 156 was up. I only have to walk about 100 feet to go to the bathroom. I could cry. It's so glorious. Just realized my pants are on inside out. Whoa. And I almost stepped in shit. So that's what kind of day it's gonna be, I guess. But I think if I almost stepped in shit, I didn't actually step in it, that means it's gonna be a good day. It's also Father's Day. So we are heading to Livingston, Montana to go see the pups. So usually while I'm driving, my Jackery is charging, but the cable is not plugged in all day. I don't know, shit comes loose. You go over a bump. And we are at 4% this morning. I'm just praying it will make me a coffee. Cause if I don't have my coffee in the morning, I become Dan Hazella. Oh my God, you guys, check this out. This is so disgusting. I killed like 8,000 mosquitoes in my van last night. And that's like a blood splatter from one of the mosquitoes. Ew. You know what? I'm not even gonna wipe it up. Just let all your mosquito friends know what's gonna happen if they dare enter my van. And this was my weapon of choice. I killed about nine mosquitoes with this thing. And the worst part, like whose blood is that? Cause they probably just sucked some person's blood. And now that person's blood is inside my van. This took a dark turn. Anyways, we are gonna make our morning coffee. We're gonna do the blonde rose this morning and I'm feeling a little naughty today. So I'm gonna add one of these little hazelnut creamers to the cream in my coffee. I know I'm so bad, so bad. One little hazelnut creamer. It's just, oh, hello. Just give her a little something something. You know, sometimes you just need a little extra something something and today is that day. Granted, we can make our coffee. If not, we're gonna have to go ask frat party over there if they can make me some coffee. There were some cute boys over there last night. I went for a walk and when I walked by, I was like, you're all in a frat, aren't you? We don't do frat boys. Nothing against you frat boys. I love you somewhere deep down inside. It's just, you're not, you're not my type. Make a coffee. I think it uses 3% when making a coffee, so we'll have to see. Look out, Martha Stewart. We're mixing our coffee with a cinnamon stick this morning. Hashtag bougie as fuck fan life. Thank you. I gotta tell ya, it's crisp morning mountain air. I should bottle it up and sell it. So good. We are heading to Livingston. I wanted to stay in Yellowstone for a few days, but today's Father's Day, so I'm gonna pop up to Livingston, hang out for a couple days. Maybe I'll come back this way. Maybe I'll go up to Glacier. I don't know. I'm not making any plans because nothing ever goes to plan, so. And by the way, there are no showers open here in Yellowstone Park right now. I'm so excited for a shower. I didn't even build a campfire last night and I smell like campfire today. <laughs> Love what you did with your beard. Some men just don't know how to maintain their beard and you are doing a fantastic job. I just have to tell you. I love you, call me, call me. Are you on Insta? Are you on Instagram? Send me a DM. Did I just get ghosted by a bison? I think I just got ghosted by a fucking bison. Fine, I'm out. I want someone who loves me for who I am. I'm not gonna beg for you to love me. Oh my gosh, can I ride with you guys? Shit. Oh, that would be so fun. Do a little convertible ride to Yellowstone. Get your shit together, Carol. Ooh, look at these stinky hot pots over here. Yellowstone is wild, <laughs> literally. <laughs> National Park has taught me one thing, it is that I need to get a pair of binoculars and maybe a really good camera with a really good lens. Everyone's looking at stuff, what are you looking at? I can't see it. I wanna make my own flower book. I wanna take photos of all these wildflowers. I want to name them my own names and I want to sell it. <gasps> Ooh, buffalo! I wanna make a book of flowers, okay? Don't, don't shit on my dreams. 
I have to take the brown eyed girl to prom. There's nowhere to poo that I can see. Buffalo are ever pissed that people are just like hanging out taking pictures of them. He's like, bitch, I haven't even showered yet today. I can't with you. He's just like sleeping. I certainly hope I'm going the right way. I can't find my map. Did it blow away? Where'd it go? I had it like three seconds ago. Someone please send me a husband who can help navigate. Road. I'm gonna make a second coffee. I've been loving getting these door slide shots. Oh, hi, pretty Melda. So what I do is I just set up my camera on top of this little box, get it in frame. I like that. A little more clouds. And then I just close my door. Hold my camera steady, do a little zoom. Oh, hello, beautiful. And then close the door. I mean, it's pretty obvious how I do it. Dear nature, would you be offended if I dropped off my brown-eyed girl right here? It's like an emergency situation. Okay, um, <gasps> there's a little swan. Do you see him? I'm like, boop, boop. Hello, good God, this is pretty. Thank the freaking Lord. I was literally five minutes away from shitting my pants just now. Like, I kept wanting to take these pull-offs and get pretty pictures, but no sight was more beautiful than this outhouse right here. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. That was torture. There's nobody there now, but legit. I got out of my car and a family of 16 walked up to the bathrooms. <laughs> well, today's the day I almost shit in my pants. Hashtag fan life. We are making coffee number two with a view. Oh, hi. Hello. That's pretty. I like this for us. Oh, hell yeah, Montana. Thanks for the free car wash. Um, excuse me. What are you doing in my van? Excuse me. Fred, we talked about this. You are an outside bug. What are you doing in my van? the side of the road and hit this big bump and even with my arm more latched everything fell out i have got to get this fixed i've just been in the middle of nowhere for so long i haven't found the time or resources oh bridge came unplugged oh it's because my jackery is dead yo anyways i just pulled over because i'm trying to eat some breakfast all i'm trying to do just to get a little hungry. I have to deal with all this bullshit. Okay, first things first. I need to plug in the fridge. It was plugged into my other Jackery and that one died. But this Jackery should be good to go. Oh, 16%. Yes. Uh, fridge is on. But what I was trying to show you before my wardrobe so rudely interrupted me was we parked outside the Yellowstone River. It's a little rainy, but hello. How pretty is that? Hello, gorgeous. yogurt we've got raspberries we've got figs and some grain-free granola love this breakfast have it every morning i do have to say though i'm missing some savory breakfast while i'm staying at my dad's i think i'm gonna get a loaf of sourdough avocados eggs and maybe a little bacon quite a beautiful place to eat breakfast though i have to say i found a new place to sit when i'm enjoying my breakfast with a view i'm not a thousand percent sure this isn't going to break had some pretty precision craftsmanship when i was building this so it's a little creaky 
little creaky, but hallelujah and amen. This view is worth it if I fall and bust my ass open. And this is my backyard for the moment. Like what the actual fuck van life? This is amazing. I'm such a homebody too. Now that the weather's like nice and not too hot, I could just spend my whole day in here. I'm gonna be writing a lot more music. I can finally record in the van because it's been way too hot to sit in here and record or write music. It's probably 60 degrees right now. It's glorious. Which I am a summer and a heat person, but in the van, it's nice to be a little cooler and bundle up, I'd have to say. By the way, I had not tried a fig until my early 30s. Highly recommend. They're quite tasty. <laughs> Well, that was just delightful. Thank you, Yellowstone River, for your beautiful scenery this morning. So we just pulled out and my water bottle slid into the bath. Now, is it dripping? Most likely not, like 95% sure. But if it's dripping, it's at such an angle that it's going to flood all of my carpet and my entire van. So we are pulling over van life and the greatest life. Oh, hey, sweetie, could you pop in the back and grab that for me? Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna be single and alone forever. Whoops, I forgot about that. Forgot about that little detail of my life. All right, this little system is not really working for me. Usually I put it down here, but then when I slam on the brakes, it slides up here by my feet and it just makes me a little nervous. The gas pedal and such. Now, oh God, there's someone coming. So that's the thing with van life. I just had the most beautiful breakfast of my entire life. And then we hopped right back on the struggle bus. There's no in between. It's either like the most immaculate experiences of your life or everything is breaking and I wanna explode. So we're about to drive over the Bozeman Pass, which is very, very windy. Like multiple occasions growing up, I've seen semis blown over. In high school, I was driving my prom date and a couple friends to dinner and we were in my dad's van that had like a bubble top on it and we were on two wheels at one point. It was very scary. A little nervous to drive over the Bozeman Pass in this thing, but I don't know if it's windy today. Oh, there's a rock shop. I didn't get my Montana rocks yet. Hmm, we will be back for you. If you want to, I'll get you flowers waiting around the bend. Baby, let's just pretend. So my dad invited me to his work party. It's in about a week. We're gonna practice some karaoke because they're doing karaoke. We're gonna do Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. I'm off the deep end. So I gotta practice. So I'm starting, just so you guys know, I'm doing live chats on Sundays. One of you guys suggested that, so I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully I have enough signal up here. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna try it. I think it'll be fun to connect with you guys that way, and also it'll give me a rest day from editing. So we're gonna try that for a while. So just know, um, Sundays, look out for a live video if you wanna come hang out with me. So I'm gonna do my first YouTube live here in a few minutes. And then we are heading down for Father's Day dinner. I'm gonna make a hot tea. I wonder if my dad wants a hot tea. Would you like a tea from my espresso bar? <laughs> we just had Father's Day dinner. My Aunt Karen cooked like this big spaghetti dinner feast. It was delightful. We played some cards. It's take your daughter to work day. Digging ditches. He works at this wood mill. They make him bank this year, right? Isn't like the price of wood like super high? Oh, it smells good out here. It smells like a wood shop. I kind of want to make something in my dad's wood shop. Can I use your tools while I'm here? I'm gonna redo my van. Do you work with any cute single men? They're all single here. They're all single here. Okay. That's how he hires people. They have to be single and looking. Only manly men. Okay. Where is my husband? Yeah, we need to get you some grandbabies. He's probably still in jail. Yeah, probably. <laughs> What's my husband doing right now? Just trying not to drop the soap, probably. Okay, are we going into a torture device? Where are you taking me? This is like how they look. Oh, so it goes up there. Oh God, this is scary. This is how they load the semis. My dad's going to get him, my husband. Just editing. My dad put my album on the speaker. Just editing to the sound of my own voice. No, it's really cute. Thanks, Dad. Y'all are probably gonna think I'm crazy because I was offered a nice cozy bed inside and I'm sleeping in my van. I have 
my own little apartment back here. Not to say that it's not cozy at my dad's, but there's a lot of company coming next week and maybe I'll change my mind tomorrow, but I'm just turning the heat on for a split second. I'm gonna go make my bed. It's supposed to be a low of 40 tonight. Just gonna let that heat up for a little bit and then curl under the covers and go to sleep. It's been a lot of driving the last couple days, like way too much driving. But I wanted to mention and remind you guys that I'm doing live chats now on Sundays at two o'clock p.m. Mount Standard Time. If it changes, I'll let you guys know on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, but I think you can schedule it. So I'll do that. You'll be able to see on Sundays what time I'm supposed to go live. It was really fun. I was really nervous to do it, but it was just super chill. Just felt like I was hanging out with friends, just chatting, you know. Spilling the tea, doing a little jabber jabber. Ooh, my headlights are on. I don't know. Do we even wait for this to warm up? Let's crank that shot up. Lock the doors. I already went pee. We should be good to go. Played a little ditty on my guitar for the live sesh earlier. It was fun. It was kind of short because I had to go to dinner and I had some technical difficulties, but it'll be a fun way to connect with you guys. It'll give me a break on Sundays so I don't have to edit a full video. And you guys can kind of see where I'm at and hang out with me in real time. And that'll be fun for me because then it'll feel like I actually have friends. This is the evening routine. Set this down here. I have three like really cozy, fuzzy blankets. Usually just use one of them when it's been really hot out, but definitely gonna get all three out and wear a hoodie, wear pants and some like fuzzy socks. I have some like actual really fuzzy socks. Let's see if I can find them. I think they're under here somewhere. Yes. I need to like refold all this stuff, but I can see them under here. I need to figure out a new system. Like this was working for a while. Oh, that's not too bad. This is my backup panty collection. This is the, I don't feel like doing laundry for the next three months. Same with socks. I brought enough socks and undies to last me like an apocalypse. Okay. These are my apocalypse undies. Everyone needs apocalypse. And then fuzzy socks, cause I knew I was gonna be in a cold place eventually. Ooh, these ones are long ones. Got my apocalypse socks and my apocalypse undies. You're not van lifing until you have apocalypse socks and apocalypse undies. You're just not. The system actually works really well. I just ooh, have way too much stuff that's not folded in this box. Cause I didn't give a what last time I was doing laundry. You just shove it until it stays. So now we'll put on our apocalypse socks. But before, we put on our apaca socks. We go into our drawer and we apply Burt's Bees foot cream because we ain't letting our feet get nasty on the road. I'm gonna give lavender honey lip butter one more try tonight. I know I'm not gonna like it, but I feel like it's a soothing you're about to go to sleep sort of thing. I wanna like it, but I don't. You know, actually, I just don't like the smell of lavender. We're gonna do orange blossom pistachio. And then we brush our teeth and then we go to bed. I can't get this open with fake nails on. I just want my pistachio lip butter. Not too much to ask. I'm a little obsessed with chapstick. Can you tell? We're gonna do vanilla bean is for kissing boys. Honey is just like a daily staple. Cherry chapstick is when I want to not fill my age for a sec. Mango butter is when we go and swim in. And dragon fruit lemon is when we want to erase the boy we kissed last night off of our lips. And I didn't kiss any boys last night, so why are we even bothering with that one? I seriously can't get it open. I guess we're doing dragon fruit. Fuck pistachio! All right, this is just ridiculous. Why is this so hard to open right now? Is this one hard to open? Oh no, that one's easy to open. Oh yes, buttery and smooth. Oh my God. The smell isn't even that good. Like I could use a little more orange blossom and a little less pistachio, you know? But the butteriness is just delightful. Oh, I can't, I can't with the lavender. If you love lavender, tell me and I will send this to you. Now, where's my toothbrush? If you made it this far in the video, comment apocalypse socks down in the comments. Everyone needs a pair of apocalypse socks. Had a bad day? It's not the end of the world. Get yourself some apocalypse socks. Your life's going to shit? It's all good. Grab yourself a pair of apocalypse socks. You have a family reunion coming up and you're afraid the world's gonna explode. Well, you know what's gonna protect you? Apocalypse socks. You ate Chipotle three times this week and you have a tsunami coming down your asshole. Well, guess what you can clean that up with? Apocalypse socks. Met a hot guy last night. He rocked you like a hurricane. He splooged all over your leg and he doesn't have a cum rag. What are you gonna wipe it up with? Apocalypse socks. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me on the live chat today. Again, we're doing live on Sundays, two o'clock Mount Standard Time. Hope you'll join me. And that is it for today's video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, if you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow. Apocalypse socks.